When he discovered the galaxy that nearly broke cosmology, Rohan Naidu was at home with his girlfriend. Naidu became alert as his algorithm combed through early photos from the James Webb Space Telescope. Late 1 July 9, it had uncovered an object that Naidu identified as being abnormally large and dating back to barely 300 million years after the Big Bang, making it older than any known galaxy. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. The James Webb Space Telescope just announced a bizarre discovery before the Big Bang. Yeah, you heard it right. I immediately contacted my girlfriend, Naidu recalls. This may be the most distant stars that we've ever seen. I told her. After exchanging emails containing numerous exclamation marks with one of his co-workers, Naidu began his work. A few days later, they published a report titled, Glass Z13, on the candidate galaxy. Internet usage soared. It reverberated around the globe, according to Naidu. The finding of this galaxy just weeks into JWST's full operations was beyond the wildest imaginations of scientists. JWST, the largest and most powerful observatory ever launched from Earth, was designed to transform our understanding of the cosmos. The telescope's large segmented mirror and highly sensitive equipment were designed to unearth never-before-seen aspects of the dawn of the cosmos. The telescope was placed 1.5 million kilometers from terrestrial interference and cooled close to absolute zero by a tennis court-sized parasol. Only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang itself, during this barely explored period, the first stars and galaxies began to form. How precisely this process transpired is contingent on exotic physics, ranging from the unknown effects of dark matter and dark energy to the poorly understood feedback between starlight, gas, and dust. By observing galaxies at cosmic dawn with the James Webb Space Telescope, cosmologists can verify their understanding of all these underlying events, either confirming the validity of their best consensus theories or uncovering knowledge gaps that may portend significant new discoveries. Such observations were expected to take time. Earlier forecasts projected that the first galaxies would be so small and dim that JWST's pilot investigations would discover at most a few intriguingly distant possibilities. Things did not go exactly as planned. Instead, as soon as the telescope scientists revealed its initial photographs of the distant universe, astronomers like Naidu at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology began discovering several galaxies within them that exceeded estimates in apparent age, size, and luminosity. Each day, it appeared, a new study organization claimed to have discovered the earliest known galaxy to have ever been discovered. According to Charlotte Mason, an astrophysicist at the University of Copenhagen, everyone was panicking. We truly did not anticipate this. In the weeks and months following the JWST's discovery of remarkably developed early galaxies, theorists and observers have struggled to explain their existence. Could the plethora of a typically large and luminous early galaxies be an illusion? Maybe because errors in the interpretation of the telescope's initial observations. If they're real, might they be explained by conventional cosmological models? Or perhaps these were the first signs that the universe is stranger and more intricate than our most audacious ideas had predicted. At stake is our entire understanding of how the known cosmos originated from the primordial chaos. Early JWST discoveries potentially rewrite the first chapters of cosmic history, which include not just distant epochs and distant galaxies, but also our own existence here in the familiar Milky Way. You create these machines not to affirm the paradigm, but to break it, explains JWST scientist Mark Makarian, the European Space Agency's senior advisor for research and exploration. You simply cannot predict how it will shatter. One could say that JWST's investigations of early galaxies have been in the works for billions of years, but they actually date back to the Space Telescope Sciences Institute in 1985. The launch of the Hubble Space Telescope aboard a space shuttle was five years away at the time. But Garth Illingworth, who was then the STSCI's deputy director, was astonished when his director, Ricardo Giacconi, who passed away in 2018, asked him to consider what would come after Hubble in the distant future. Illingworth remembers, I resisted, stating that we have more than enough to do on the Hubble. However, Giacconi insisted, trust me, it will take a long time. So Illingworth and a small group of colleagues began conceptualizing the next generation space telescope, the NGST which was subsequently dubbed the JWST after a former NASA administrator. Hubble would be revolutionary, but astronomers realized that its observations and visible light would limit its possibilities. As light from a distant galaxy travels across the vast void, the expansion of the universe stretches its wavelengths. A phenomenon is known as redshift. 
The greater the redshift value, the greater the light stretching, and hence, the greater the distance between the galaxy and its source. Early galaxies have such high redshifts that their visible light has been stretched into infrared by the time it reaches our telescopes, which is why the Hubble was unable to detect them. In contrast, the NGST would view in the infrared and would be equipped with a very big and very cold starlight gathering mirror, enabling it to see considerably further into the universe. Everyone understood that Webb would be the telescope used to observe early galaxies, says Illingworth. This became the fundamental scientific objective. In December 1995, astronomers directed Hubble towards a seemingly vacant portion of the sky for 10 straight days, highlighting the need for the telescope. Numerous experts believed that the extended observation would be a waste of money, showing at most a handful of dim galaxies, but the work proved to be extremely fruitful. The resultant image, the Hubble Deep Field, revealed that the empty area was populated with hundreds of galaxies, extending 12 billion years into the 13.8 billion year history of our universe. According to Illingworth, an astrophysicist at the University of California, Santa Cruz, there were galaxies everywhere. The Hubble Deep Field revealed that the early cosmos was even more packed and interesting than the vast majority of people had anticipated, delivering observational gems to anyone who took the time and effort to look carefully. Although Hubble's deep field was amazing, astronomers desired more. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.